In this video, I'm going to compare Hoppy's Number no. 9 to Ed's Red. Ed's Red is a popular homebrew powder solvent made up of equal parts acetone, automatic transmission fluid, mineral spirits, and kerosene. I will be using lamp oil as my kerosene. Okay, so let's mix the ingredients. This is my steel test plate. I sanded the surface to 400 grit, degreased with brake cleaner, and sectioned with masking tape. If you have watched my previous videos, then you know what happens next. Here's close-up photos of the burnt powder. I applied each solvent to the plate. The Ed's Red had a thinner consistency compared to the Hoppies. I let the plate soak for five minutes. Nice looking clock. I cleaned two bronze brushes with brake cleaner. They will be used to mimic bore brushes. I scrubbed, then wiped each section with a clean patch. Here's close-ups of each section after wiping. I decided to reapply the Ed's Red to see if a longer soak time would improve the results. I let the Ed's Red soak for 15 minutes. I scrubbed the plate and wiped with a new patch. The second application definitely removed additional powder. Here's a comparison of the two sections. The second application of Ed's Red looks like it matched the results of the Hoppies. So what are my thoughts? The Ed's Red was able to remove the burnt powder. It definitely benefited from a longer soak time. Cost-wise, the Ed's Red is very inexpensive compared to the Hoppies. This could be an advantage to shooters who clean many guns often. I personally like how quickly the Hoppies works. I also like Hoppy's thicker oil-like consistency compared to the thinner watery consistency of the Ed's Red. I hope viewers found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.